Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, and today I'm going to be talking about the solution to the first problem in the December 2020 silver contest, Barn Tree. As you can see, this is a full solve. So, what happens in this problem is you have hay bales on different farm barns that are connected by paths. And using these paths, you have to make sure that all the number of hay bales on each barn is the same. And you have to print out the these transactions and the number of transactions you're making. So, if we look at if we look at the sample input, we have one, which is connected to two, and two is connected to three and four. Now, the um, one has two, two has one, three has four hay bales, and four has five. Now, if we do the math, then we can figure out pretty easily that every single one of these needs three hay bales. That means that this one needs one more, this one needs two more, and these one, this one is over one, and this one is over two. So using that, we can figure out the paths that are needed. So how do we figure out the number of paths? Well, that's quite easy. You start from n minus 1, which is the number of edges. And the only reason it might be less than n minus 1 is if one of the edges don't require a transaction between them. Otherwise, every single one will have a transaction. So how do you tell this? Well, using our cursive function, um... Just for simplicity, we'll start at node 1. This doesn't have to be the f node 1. It can be anything. And you call each of its children, asking, in, in its subtree, which for 2 would be this whole thing, how, what is the net number of bales you need to make sure it's, to, to make sure that you balance it out? And that by simple math, is negative 1. So you know it, it, it's down 1, so it, it needs to give away its 1 so that it stays balanced. It has an excess. Uh, so that means that somewhere along the line, you have to give 1 from 2 to 1. And we can save that. So once we have that, we turn this into a directed graph. So if we make that graph here, you know that somewhere along the road, 3 has to give 2, 1. 2 has to give 1, 1. And 4 has to give 2, 2. Now all we need to do is order these properly. So we know 3 because of the algorithm from earlier. There's nothing where these paths aren't needed. And now all you need to do is sort it. So to do this, you use topological sort, which makes sure that all the every single time you do a transaction, that you have enough hay bale, excess hay bales to complete that transaction and so that every single transaction is actually valid. So let's look at the code real quick. Here we're just reading the input and calculating the amount of surplus or um, ne negative hay bales that it has compared to what's in, what it needs to be, which is the only valuable information. Then you call f, which is exactly this, what I explained. It calls its children and figures out how much it needs or needs to give away to be net to be net balanced, and it only subtracts from ands if n. Uh, it also records 
all of the transactions in the format you need to output it then you just run topological sort and it all works as you can see here i ran this earlier and it gets it all finished i hope this helped in your Usico adventures and if you liked it please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video